Hey guys, thanks for watching Busy With D. In this video, I'll be showing you four different healthy lunch options that we chose for my daughter to take to school. Here I'm just showing you her food storage containers um, and this is where we package her lunch in. Next, I'll be showing you her lunch box and we chose this lunch box because it holds the food containers well. It's plenty of space to add other things in as well and because she loves the characters on the front of it. And for her first lunch, she had the classic turkey sandwich, cucumbers, strawberries, chips, and a bottle of water. And the ingredients for the sandwich, we use white bread, the mesquite smoked turkey breast deli meat, Kraft Singles cheese, and mustard. And here I'm just putting together her sandwich, nothing special, just adding her meat, cheese, and mustard, and then she likes to have it cut in triangles. So I'll, I do that, and then I just package it into her larger food storage container. Okay, next for her fruit, she had strawberries that my husband already cut for us just to save time for on this video. And then she also took cucumbers with a side of ranch. And since it was her first day of school, we decided to give her a special snack, which was Doritos. And we just added a few into a Ziploc bag and packaged that into the larger compartment of her lunchbox. Now, you don't see me putting the ice pack on. That is because we made this lunch the night before and the ice pack is in the freezer. So usually every morning, I take it out of the freezer and just put it between the sandwich and then the fruit and vegetables and ranch and then put it back in her lunch and she's good to go. We call this lunch the classic because it has the typical things that a child would carry in their lunchbox like the turkey sandwich, strawberries, cucumbers or some sort of vegetable, and chips and water. And this is also one of her favorite lunches to take to school so we decided to put this one on the first day. For her second lunch, she had the turkey sushi rolls, carrots, apples, granola bar, and a bottle of water. So we have the ingredients for the sushi sandwich, and we just use spinach wrapped tortillas, cream cheese, ranch seasoning, green onions, and kale. And we add the kale because it's really good for you, and she can't even taste that it's in there. So here I'm just cutting about a little bit more than half of the cream cheese, and it should really be soft, and it'll be a lot easier to work with. Just adding about maybe a tablespoon, if that, of the ranch seasoning. And then I'll mix that together. After you get past the mixing part, the assembly of the sandwich is very easy. I know it may look difficult from pictures because it is like a little ball of sushi, but it's really easy to roll. And all you have to do is just chill it in the refrigerator for a while and then go back and cut it and then it looks just like a little roll of sushi. But here I'm just cutting the green onions. I'll add that into the cream cheese and ranch seasoning mixture and then I'll just mix that in and then I'll spread it onto the spinach tortilla. And now you don't have to use spinach, uh, the spinach tortillas. You can use the regular kind, wheat kind, pretty much anything that you prefer. And also with the cream cheese, if your child is not a fan of that, you can use mustard, honey mustard, mayo, whatever other spreads they have out there. But yeah, just you can customize it to anything, any way that you like. Okay, for the assembly, I'm just adding the kale and that'll serve as my sort of lettuce. That's probably what she'll think it is. And I add that because it is extremely healthy for you. Next, I go in with the sandwich meat and then the cheese and I just add two slices of cheese and then I just roll as tightly as I can. Now, once you get to the end, you just take a little bit of the spread, spread it onto your tortilla, and then roll it, and that is to keep it from unraveling once it's been cut. Next, I just roll it in foil, put it in the refrigerator for a while, and then go on about making the rest of the lunch, and we'll come back to that later. Here I have a carrot, and I'll just hurry up and cut it for time purposes of the video. Add that into the smaller compartment of her lunch box or smaller container and now we're back to the sushi roll and I just cut off the ends because they don't have all of the ingredients in them it's pretty much just bread and my husband likes to eat that so I just set it to the side for him 
And then I just slice up the roll, the roll into little pieces. And this is what it looks like. Now I only add about four into her lunch. And then I gave the rest to my husband. Next we have an organic green apple, organic lemon. And I cut the apple in two slices. Now I have an apple cutter, but I don't know. I'm just weird. I like to do it myself by hand. So I just cut the apple into smaller slices. And then I'll cut the lemon. I'll cut a slice of the lemon off and then rub the lemon onto the apple. And that is just to keep it from getting too brown by the time that she opens it at lunch because nobody wants to eat a brown apple. So I'm just cutting the insides where the seeds were out of the apple and then I'll rub the lemon on. Now you can also use a lime and I think they sell like a mixture for you to spray on the apple slices but I like to keep it as organic as possible. I like to know what we're eating so I just use the lemon and do it myself. Now that is all for that lunch. We have her sandwich, her ice packs, apples, carrots, her Kid Cliff Z granola bar, and it's the oatmeal, the iced oatmeal, and a bottle of water. And now for her third lunch, she had pizza, cucumbers, blueberries, pretzels, and a bottle of water. Now I am just putting the blueberries into one of the smaller containers, and I give her quite a few because she likes a lot of those. Next, I'm just cutting a few slices off of the cucumber. I think I gave her about five. She doesn't really like cucumbers, but she likes to eat them with ranch. It's weird, so I just give them to her with a side of ranch, and then she's all good. Okay, and next we have her pizza. We use an organic wheat bun with organic pasta sauce and mozzarella cheese. So I just spread the sauce onto the bun, then I add the cheese. And then in the morning, I'll pop it in the oven for about five minutes. And I'll tell you how I store that so that I keep the pizza kind of warm and then the cold foods stay cold. So I'm putting all of it in the larger part now because it's all going in the refrigerator but in the morning I put the pizza down in the bottom where I usually keep the water and then I put the cold stuff in this open large part at the top. And that's just to keep her pizza kind of warm and then the cold food stay cold with the ice pack. At lunch she had peanut butter and honey, carrots, strawberries, pretzels, cheese and a bottle of water. Now for the peanut butter sandwich we do not add jelly because my oldest daughter doesn't like jelly, so we put honey and flax seeds, but she doesn't know. She thinks it's just a peanut butter sandwich, but I actually put peanut butter on one slice of bread, then I add honey to the other slice, and I use organic honey, and it's locally harvested, and that is because she has allergies, and this is the best thing for her allergies rather than taking medicine. So it's good for her. She likes the sandwich, and she doesn't know it has honey on it. And we also add flax seeds, they're also really good for you. And she also doesn't know that those are on there either because you can't really tell, they kind of look like peanuts once you put the sandwich together and cut it. So that is her sandwich and I just cut it into triangles because that's how she likes it and then put it in her food storage container. Next she has strawberries and we already cut them and we just put them into the larger container and then carrots and that is one of her favorite vegetables. So I add quite a few and pretzels. So I just package all of that up and the ice pack is already frozen. And then I add her pretzels to the top and her cheese, her baby bell cheese, she picked that on her own and her bottle of water. That is all you guys, thanks for watching Busy With D and I will see you next time.